So Los Angeles area has a series of concrete rivers that get full of garbage. A lot of the garbage floats. So they've implemented this thing, which is the 007 trash interceptor. It's 73 feet long and it's got, uh, you can see those, those barriers that are hanging in the water are a couple of feet deep. So anything that floats is gonna get caught by those barriers and filtered into the actual mouth of the big trash interceptor. And it has a conveyor belt in it and it picks up the garbage and throws it into bins. It can hold up to 1,750 cubic feet. And it's designed to work on its own without people on it. It's solar powered, so it's completely self-powered. And it just sits there and picks up garbage all day long. So a few years ago, if you remember hearing about a kid named Boylan Slot from Holland coming up with this idea, how he was gonna fix the garbage patch with, with a simple invention, he's actually formed a company and he's building these barges and selling them throughout the world. So. You know, hopefully it works and it does its job. I, I wasn't able to find out how much this thing costs or who's paying for it, other than uh, brought to you by Coca-Cola is on the side, which is good because a lot of the bottles it's gonna be harvesting are probably from the Coca-Cola factory. So it's a good way for them to, to give back and help clean up the mess that they're partially responsible for causing. And it's a great thing for politicians to stand in front of and give speeches. And they're even handing out a key to the river, I guess, a ceremonial key to the river, whatever that means. But. At least we're doing some good, we're cleaning up, we're making things better. And if I follow the river a couple miles inland, you can see there's a lower tech version of the same thing there, this big net that goes across the entire river. So similar technology to the 007 trash interceptor, but this is just a big long balloon with a, a net below it that's a couple of feet deep. So bottles are gonna get caught in there. And whenever stuff is flowing down the river, some of it's obviously gonna get away, but it's gonna catch the majority of it. So if it catches 80, 90, 95% of the garbage, that's great. Looks like this McDonald's uh, playground ball is gonna escape and go out to the ocean to be with its friends in the garbage patch. So, so go fly free, little ball, fly free. Hopefully there's another garbage catcher out there that will catch all the balls and, and be able to return them to McDonald's where they can play again with the children. And you can see there's a person in a boat over there. So normally this thing's deployed with one arm only so that people with boats can get around it. On this day, or whenever there's a storm, they're gonna deploy both arms to catch all the garbage. But on a normal day, there's not that much garbage. So it just one arm is active. And that looks like this. So that guy can get around it on the left side. And then on the right side, it's got its barrier up. So it's catching half the garbage, but the people can still get in and out of the channel. So there you go, one small step to clean up the ocean. I don't know whose money is behind this, if it's all Coca-Cola or if there's some, some politicians making money or if Boylan Slot's getting rich, who knows. But at least it's going to do a positive thing and keep the oceans clean.